you're standing up, you're gonna want to take a seat. Cause I've got a doozy Is this good? for you today. Have you ever thought to yourself, man, it'd be great if anime was real. Our world is so boring. On my uh, you know, I can even sympathize with that a bit. I think it'd be great to like, scream really loud and get huge muscles and grow taller. But then you need to take a step back and read a headline like this and realize that we're already living in an anime. And it's a goddamn shonen shithole. There's a Destiny YouTuber who's currently being sued by Bungie for $7.6 million. And just like the Celtics in the NBA Finals, he will absolutely lose. He doesn't stand a chance. He'd have better luck finding $7.6 million in the gutter than winning this lawsuit against Bungie. This guy took the plot of Death Note and huh? applied it to YouTube. He basically became a diet Kira, and as a result, it cost him his entire life here with this lawsuit. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Jesus. I've recently followed this story since it broke a couple months ago, and my god, there's so many twists and turns in here, it makes Game of Thrones look tame. It is so unbelievably goofy. And you all know how much I love, like, the goofy and the wacky and... My god, I'm ashamed to say it, but even the silly too. And this story is absolutely among the cream of the crop in that ballpark. So, let me break all of it down for you. A couple months ago, Destiny content creators had their judgment day. Rapture had occurred. In total, 96 videos just vanished from a multitude of Destiny content creators seemingly out of nowhere and for no reason. The videos were totally innocent, there was nothing wrong with them, but they had all been struck down by a company called CSC, which, which is a legitimate oh copyright I'm management firm that represents Bungie. So, content creators rightfully were very- I, I know this is going already, this, I already know the, the whole story Bungie, now. Thinking that they'd betrayed the community, Bungie had decided to go to war against the creators, and it was this big bloodbath online. For it's not Bungie who did it. I, I didn't, I didn't pre-watch, I'm just gonna say it. Guys, copyright, copyright is such a fucking joke. Anybody can impersonate anybody. It's a disaster. For a while, uh, people yeah. hating Bungie for what it's they did. It's so bad. But it turns out Bungie was also a victim. Their own videos got copyright struck and taken down by the same CSC agency. So what went wrong? Did an employee go rogue? Just have a Winter Soldier moment and just go full nuclear and take all Destiny content down as they saw fit? Well, as it turns out, there was a bad actor impersonating CSC Global. And they were the puppet master behind the scenes taking down all of these videos. So it naturally became the question of who is doing it and why? Because Bungie also put out a statement saying well, they're affected they're yeah. investigating because this is not okay. Bungie wouldn't do this, it's not them. They were as confused as the rest of the community. But they weren't just confused, they were furious. They went fucking berserk. I don't blame him. Maybe he's trying to point out how flawed the system is. That's that's very dumb. That's like a the end justifies the means type thing, like maxed out scenario. Like too many people are getting damaged and too much shit is getting destroyed for to prove a point that in the end isn't going to be proven because um how it, it, the MCA is such a bad solidified systems. You could prove them wrong or prove that there's, there's it's stupid and misused a gazillion times, and it's it's to be like. Huh? What is what is a YouTube? What is uh what is a garbage? They no, doesn't do they anything. Just do mad at this douchebag that was copyright striking everyone with these fraudulent takedown requests. They were mad at YouTube. They took YouTube to court in order to get Google to finally reveal the identity of the person behind this because YouTube was putting up a big stink about it. They even had the same problems as normal YouTubers saying Bungie went through customer service and didn't get the issue resolved for days. They even said that YouTube support didn't even respond to them in a timely fashion, if at all. Reading this when it was happening was shocking because even a billion dollar company like Bungie has to go through the same channels as the fucking goobers like me and all other YouTubers do. And it sucks. It's trash. Bungie got guys, guys, guys. The mistake is that they thought YouTube was gonna was gonna actually help and do something, when in fact, and in fact, they should have just did like everybody else. Uh, from the from the main account of Bungie, Bungie official, uh, tweet at YouTube support team. Hey guys, we have a, having a problem. Could you help? And then they give a reply. Check DMs. Check DMs. Over the they, that's what it should have. It is what it is. It's the only way to do it. Bit. 
you get no answers, you get no response, and you get no solutions when you go up to like the top of the food chain of YouTube. They would have had better luck just doing what all the rest of us do and start whining on Twitter about it and crying for okay. YouTube's attention. Okay, guys, like the guys, listen, can actually listen. Solve I did not. The team YouTube I did not Twitter pre watch. Account. So instead of like going through the court as stop. well as the support channels, Bungie should have just went right to Twitter with a twit longer or some shit and a trending hashtag because it seems like it's all they'll respond to. I didn't They won't even man. respond to a billion dollar company through their official channels. What a joke. What chance do any normal YouTubers have if Bungie, of all companies, Whatever. can't get them to talk to them? It's laughable. They slammed YouTube's absolutely archaic and dog shit system here with a fully detailed outline of how it happened and how weak YouTube's system is, and then finished it off by- Yeah, and the problem is that the system is so flawed that you can cause a lot of damage, and, 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 and by the time you get it fixed, the damage done f far outweighs the, whatever solution that they, they come with, which is really stupid. It, it's so destructive. Giving YouTube it's... a one-star Yelp review on their support process saying that Bungie was stranded in a circular loop. When I read that circular loop line, it was like this eureka moment. A light bulb flicked on in my head and I knew exactly what happened here. Bungie, being as naive as they were about YouTube, thinking that good systems were in place, went on their YouTube channel and went to the partner creator support line, which lets you talk to what's supposed to be that, support that agents. Some of the fuckers, I'm not kidding, were taking a piece of content they were copying it, re-uploading it, and they were DMCA striking the main content, saying that they stole their content, and these fucking complaints go through, and people get striked. It's so busted. It's, YouTube. it's but busted, they're basically dude. basically just bots. I don't think that there's anyone using that with a pulse. And what happens when you try and talk to people through that is they just keep linking you frequently asked questions, or they just keep asking you the same question you've answered a million times, and you just go in a circle forever like Ouroboros constantly eating its own tail nothing gets solved when you contact that line it's only frequently asked questions or publicly accessible youtube blog posts about what might be adjacent to your issue or repeated questions ad nauseum forever i knew exactly what happened once i read circular loop so bungie couldn't even get in contact with youtube directly initially it seems they went to that boilerplate terrible service of the support line but it looks like they did finally get it solved because they got the person's identity. And the story behind this is so stupid, it's crazy. I wanna actually this. There was this. a disgruntled Destiny YouTuber named Lord Nazo, or Nick. And Nick's YouTube channel focused on directly ripping music from Destiny's Taken King and Witch Queen official soundtracks and uploading them to his personal YouTube channel. And despite repeated takedown notices, Nick decided to leave the music up, which eventually resulted in him losing the account. And he got mad. Nick got very upset at this. This happened months prior to him impersonating CSC Global. So something snapped in Nick here, and he wanted revenge. And then he thought back to the time he watched Death Note, and he's like, hmm, maybe I could do that. So he impersonated a CSC Global employee and started filing takedown requests, fraudulent takedown requests, on pretty much anyone who made Destiny content. Just kept writing their name in the death note, just another one chalked up on the board, another victim, another body left in the wake of Nick's rage and his quest for revenge. And just uh -oh. like when L teamed up with Kira, Lord Nazo was directly trying to hunt himself down in secret. So he was on the front lines communicating with the content creators that he was actively striking, pretending to be on their side, and pretending to help try and find this fraudster that was issuing what? the takedown. So he deceived all of them into thinking that he was there to help them, like Scooby-Doo trying to sniff out the, the actual criminal here in this mystery. Meanwhile, he was the one actively doing it. It's so goofy. He'd send messages like this here. Some of the silliest shit. Yeah, it's the people like us who suffer. The little guys. Or just anyone with fewer than 250k YouTube subscribers and 100k Twitter followers. This was absolutely a plan to put himself at the bottom of the list of potential suspects. So he'd say things like, Yeah, I was also a victim of this a few months ago. There's something real evil out there. And we've got to find him. I won't rest until this dubious actor is brought to justice. He'd go on and on dropping breadcrumbs like it's definitely a fraud and then even going into detail about how easy it is to take down someone's content using YouTube's broken system. Just constantly saying things like, it's actually a fraud out there and I know it. 
just trying like his best to make it seem like he's super innocent and on their side. But unfortunately, it was all a ruse, and he was the one guilty of this crime. And for this Mom, crime, he's facing a $7.6 million dollar lawsuit. That's a fat one. To my knowledge, that's the biggest lawsuit against any YouTuber so far. The previous record, I believe, was the $1.7 million against Roblox YouTuber Ruben. This is blowing that out of the water right now. And this is a lawsuit this guy would absolutely lose. He is he's guilty. Like he he is literally like admitted Chat. to it. Yeah, what happens when the guy can't pay? What happens then? He has been caught red-handed with his hand in the cookie jar. They have absolutely caught him dead to rights on this charge. He did this. And it's pretty cut and dry. They got the information from YouTube. They even have these Discord screenshots where he like subtly hints at exactly how he's doing it. There's just no wiggle room here. So this is a lawsuit that he can't possibly win, really. And I've seen a lot of people defending him saying- You just go bankrupt then? You say, I don't know how that works. I've never heard of- I, I've always said people will say bankrupt, but I don't know how that works. Is it like a red button you just press bankrupt and you just get a, you get a full reset? Like he was actually doing it just to make a point about how broken the system is. And that's a good point to make because the system is broken, but this is the worst way of doing it. He's yeah, yeah, but who pays for the fucking 7.6 mil though? In crimes. This is a crime. And it's a really douchey one at that because he is actively hurting the livelihood of all of his peers. All 96 of those videos that he copyright struck were either friends of his mutuals or Destiny content creators that rely on content creation for their livelihood. And he threatened it. Directly threatened it. That's not necessarily a... Okay, so who pays the fucking bankruptcy bullshit? Who pays the fine or the, 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 the lawsuit? Who does that? What is that? But it fucks your entire credit and ruins relationship with banks. Okay, okay. What, what if you were to do something against your friend for 20 mil, okay? And your friend sues you, right? You bankrupt. Right? And he's like, oh, the banks don't talk to you. But the guy, the guy that your friend who sued you has 20 mil now from the bank of you. So he lives with you and you pay for all his bills. What? Well, I mean, that's massive fraud, of course, but I mean. Petty crime. That's a big deal. And that's a wide stretching one that affects a lot of people. So I think he absolutely deserves to be slapped like this and made an example out of. Shit like this isn't okay. YouTube actually slapped someone like this in a similar fashion back in like 2019. There was a guy uh, issuing fraudulent takedowns for other content. I think it was Minecraft. And he got slapped with 25k per takedown notice. And you know what happened? That shit didn't happen again. Because they made an example out of that guy. And that's exactly what Bungie's doing with Nick, Lord Nazo here. And I think it's the right play. Bungie's seeking 150k for each of the works implicated in the fraudulent takedowns for a total of 7.65 million dollars, and plus the legal fees. And just last week, they won a settlement of twice that in a dispute with, De with a Destiny 2 cheat seller. So Bungie's already riding momentum here. They already copped a previous- Why, they got 50 mil in the loss? But honestly, you guys, again, I, I, I hate saying this because it's gonna be going to be going say, ah, you, the, the rich, whatever. But the, real, the reality is, I, I, I really hate hearing stories like this where they get a summon out of a cheat maker. That, that's so, that's because they lose more money overall. Their game loses traction because of cheaters, because it ruins the player experience. People don't play their fucking game. So for them, money is, is useless. What do they do with more money? Oh, wow. They, they get more devs, more. Yeah, that's cool and all. But they, they spend a lot of time on the game. They will can't enjoy because of cheaters and whatnot. It sucks. It's a loss of fun. And you can't put a price on that, man. It's W here, and it looks like. How's that a question mark? How's that a question mark? They made a game, it's all in. The game loses traction, it loses whatever. Yeah, you're right, it's worth money, but their, their game doesn't see its full expansion. Because they get money on what they lost, but not probably their potential wins and what the game could be. Could, could be. Everyone looks, guys, traction is everything in a, in a game. It's everything. They might get another one if this makes it to court. And all of this over Miner's YouTube channel, which had less than 3,000 subs. Ultimately, I think Lord Nazo wanted to do something guys, good. Like he- Guys, wh guys, what if, what if, I'm just saying what if. What if Fortnite, when, it came, when, when Fortnite was popping off, okay? When Fortnite was doing good, cheats got so fucking bad, every amount of cheater would just shoot you to the fucking ground. You'd instantly die. Nobody would have played it. Nobody would play it. And, 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 and then, and then they, they went a 15 mil fucking lawsuit. Yeah, guys, yeah! 15 mil, bad man, bad, that's crazy. And the game, the game barely recovers, right? What, what about the hundreds, if not billions of dollars that the, the company could have had 
or, or the success that the game could have, and the game that people could have enjoyed, but that they did get to enjoy because of, because of that fact. That 15, that 15 mil is nothing about that. It's, not, it's a drop in the bucket. He truly believed he was the it hero sucks. in this anime where he's fighting against a mega corporation that wrongfully took down his content and he wanted to make an example out of a broken system. But he failed to realize that he was never the hero to begin with because his content was straight rips from their official soundtrack that he re-uploaded, fully knowing that that's not allowed. And even receiving warning that that's not allowed. And still acted surprised and angry when he eventually lost his channel because Jesus, of this. this guy. And then in his temper tantrum, tried to spin this narrative where like, this system's broken and I'll prove it by targeting the company that made me mad. And by targeting that company, he targeted a ton of normal people. People that had nothing to do with Bungie. And as a result of that, their livelihoods got kind of I'm not saying that they're wrong for suing him. I'm, 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 just, I'm just saying that it just kind of sucks that, yeah, yeah, they win here. But overall, it's a loss. Even though they win the money back, or they get the, the damage, it's still a loss. Cheaters in a fucking game is a massive loss. For a little Even bit. if they win. Bungie's reputation got fucked for a while. And because the player experience is damaged in there. And a game doesn't see the success that it should. A lot of the money other music is irrelevant in that. actually do have permission and uploaded music fully within fair use policies, they took down their content in order to avoid being struck because they thought it was Bungie just going on a killing spree. So they panicked and removed all of that content from their own channels, which again, hurt their livelihood and still does because the content's not back up since they deleted it. And that now is now off YouTube. All of that content's gone. As a result of this guy going commando mode. So the results of all of this were overwhelmingly negative. This channel is super pega. I just did a video. Thanks. Sorry, guys. Guys, I got one. I got one gun and just unlock, guys. Guys, holy fuck! I got lightheaded. Holy fuck! Um, dude, guys, it's it's like if some guy was DDoSing me by 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 boarding at the company of internet and unplugging my wire every day, right? It's like, oh, okay. Well, I sue the guy, right? And I, and I win, and he gives me like whatever money I would have made in that span of time without streaming it. Yeah, I get the money of that month or that two months that he's unplugging my internet, but it sucks, man. I want to stream and have fun. The money, cool, whatever the fuck. I win the money, but I want to stream. I didn't want to get the money. I want to stream, motherfucker. It, 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 it sucks. You get a, you get a, because people lose. The people that enjoy the stream lose. So yeah, I get, I get, I get the money, cool, but it's a raw loss for the space because people enjoy something. They can't have it. Same thing with games. If people, if people can't enjoy the game, it sucks. It's trash. It's a, it's a loss of fun in a cool space. Man.